Hi everyone, Siavash here and in this episode I'm going to show you how you can create your follow-up campaign after you find out your product. So as you might have already watched my uh, previous video on how to find a product in health and fitness niche in Clickbank, now in this video I'm going to show you how you can actually build up your follow-up emails and basically do your follow-ups using Aweber. So if you don't know what Aweber is, Aweber is basically uh, a mailing marketing software, which we call them autoresponder as well. So what they do is basically they allow you to send mass uh, emails to uh, basically a lot of recipients and it also gives you a ton of tracking, like how you can actually how many people click on your links how many people open your emails how many people bounces that email and people that are unsubscribed subscribe and a lot of other things like this now in this episode i'm going to show you how you can start and create a follow-up campaign inside aweber so as you can see i'm logged in in my aweber account now the first thing that you want to do you want to go to your messages so you click on messages in here and we want to go to the campaigns now once this loads if uh, this is your first time brand new aweber account you're probably not gonna have any campaign in here like this so what you want to do you can go ahead and click on create a campaign gives you a couple of options so one of the options is actually you can create a blank campaign the other one is import a campaign so basically uh, the way that import campaign works is if someone else has created a campaign in Aweber it gives you a unique ID for that campaign that you can grab that unique ID and give it to another person and they can import the same exact campaign that you created inside their own Aweber account then you have a couple of different templates you have welcome series you have lead magnet you have blogger series and you have a mini course so for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to do a welcome series so the welcome series means that basically let's say you've created your funnel which we are going to do in the next episode and someone comes in see your funnel and they're interested in the product or offer that or service that you're actually offering to them and they say yeah i want to know more so what they do is basically they give you the information that you ask for example their name their email address their phone number whatever you ask and then they automatically get subscribed to your mailing list which is in this case is going to be inside the aweber and what's going to happen after that we have the welcome campaign that gets triggered automatically as soon as someone signs up so they start receiving your welcome emails and your follow-ups all right so let's go ahead and click on the welcome series you can name it uh, whatever you want uh, for this uh, for the purpose of this because we're doing a health and fitness niche we call it health niche welcome campaign and then hit create you can change that anytime that you want so it's actually processing so it takes a couple of seconds because it's actually putting some of the stuff in here so now here's where the fun starts a couple of things that i want to point out in here so first let's start from the left hand side so these are the actions that we are able to do so obviously sending a message which is email in this case then we have a wait option and then we have an apply tag option so send the message as i mentioned uh, it's as uh, the name actually tells you basically send an email the wait is basically as you can see in here in the middle so we are sending our first message in here and then we tell the system to wait for a day and then send the second message and then we tell it okay wait for another day and then send the third message so this is basically what the autoresponder do so you schedule your messaging your emails specifically and then they go out in sequence there are a lot of other, a lot of other uh, specification that you can do so for example if i click there are a lot of other specification that you can do so for example if i click on this weight you can actually change the 
uh, change it from one day to like hours, minute, whatever. You can also add a send window so you can tell it to specifically send the next email on, for example, Wednesdays from 9 a.m. to 9 to 5 p.m. So you can literally tell it when it and at what window you want to send that specific email. So these are pretty help uh, helpful specifically if you're running a campaign that has like specific offers and sell during a specific time of day month or those kind of things and the next one is apply tag so tags are basically it's like uh tagging a people your subscriber with specific things that you can search later and segment your list so for example put it this way what i usually do when i create my follow-up campaigns is i put a tag at the beginning of the campaign and i put a tag at the end of the campaign so what this does is i set a tag that okay the the person that got to this campaign they started the what you call this one we call this health niche welcome campaign that's one one uh, the, the beginning tag and the end tag I'm gonna call it finish health welcome campaign and that's the end tag so what that does it basically it helps me to say okay uh, after two or three days I come and I want to touch some bases with and follow up with the people that are actually have been through my welcome campaign but they haven't opened any email for example or they open one of the emails click on one of the links and maybe they had some questions so that's why they didn't go through and actually buy the product so I know that if this person based on this tag I can segment them and say okay Aweber only show me the people that have finished the campaign and I want to send them the specific type of email you can also go way deeper for example you can when you start typing your email and let's say if your email has a specific links inside it you can go and tell Aweber that okay if someone clicks on the first link tag them this if someone clicks on the second link tag them this so these are type of automation that these are next level things that you can add to your messaging which helps you for example if someone click on the offer but for some for any reason they haven't bought that you can actually hit them personally and say hey i've noticed that you uh, have a look at the offer but uh, uh, it seems like that you didn't uh, go ahead and purchase i would like to know if there is any question that you have that you would like me to answer for you if, if there is more information that you want to know or basically i'm here to help out so something like that so super specific based on the actions that they've already taken and pretty much the only other thing that is remain here is as you can see it it is asking you how and when should i start this campaign so as you can see it says it triggers the campaign for the new subscriber so it means that as soon as someone joins this email list this campaign is going to get triggered most of the time specifically for welcome series that's what you want to do but sometimes maybe you have like a couple of different uh avenue of traffic coming to the same list and you wanted to have like different uh, tags that triggers different follow-ups campaigns so you can do that as well so for example uh, in, a, in another video will when we go through building a campaign building a funnel inside the click funnel I'll show you how you can actually tag people once they sign up to your mailing list on click funnel so for example then you can say okay these are the people that are coming from let's say Microsoft being advertisement because I'm going to show you how you can actually run traffic from Microsoft to your funnel and to your offer and then I tell uh, tell the Aweber okay if anyone that subscribe or if anyone gets this tag as soon as they get this tag start sending them this email sequence so that is another way of doing that as well However, for the for the purpose of this video, we are just going to because this is going to be uh, only one list. We are going to do it uh, only on subscribe. So, uh, I just wanted to show you base pretty much every uh, 
detail and every action that you can take inside the campaign and by the way if you don't know how to create an email you can actually drag and drop any of these in here so as you can see i can let it go in here and in, and then on the right hand side if you have already created an, a draft email you can choose from there if not you can actually go ahead and click on create a message and then click on drag and drop it takes a little, couple of seconds for the editor to get loaded Here we go, now the editor is loaded. We can go ahead and say, hey, what's up? And then you can start writing your email. So as you can see, there's a piece of code in here that you might have been, okay, what the heck is this? So this is basically a piece of code that get replaced with the contact or the person that subscribed to your list first name so if they if you've been collecting the first name when you say hi and you put this piece of code if, when this email gets sent to that specific person the first name of that person will be substituted with this piece of code so it's going to be hey aaron hey Sierra, something like that and the way that you can add these is basically click on personalize and these are all the options that you have for personalize so you can add their email ip address sign up date you can have the locations and you can also have some snippet snippet as well so if you want to put the date you can put a date as well a lot of cool stuff that you can do uh, for the editing of the email the editor is pretty straightforward you can actually put a link by highlighting clicking on the link and then put the link in here something like this and basically say com and it tells you that if if it's a correct link or not obviously this is not because it's uh, not an actual link but if i put my website and then hit OK, gets highlighted. You can also have a look at the preview. You can click on preview and test. It shows you the preview. You can modify these as well if you want to. It also gives you an option to preview it in the mobile view. And also it gives you an option to send the text uh, test email to one of your Gmail addresses or email addresses that you have so you can actually test everything see if your links work see the uh, the view on your mobile see the view on your desktop and see if you like the layout or not so there are tons of options in here and once you're happy with everything you can click on save and exit it will save it and it will bring you back to your campaign with the updated email as you can see and actually now I can show you how you can add an automation and you can see now because this specific email has a link I can say okay on clicks a link and then I tell it okay I wanted to add a tag and say maybe offer clicked and I select the link which is this guy apply apply there you go so now every time that anyone opens up this message and click that specific link, link they're gonna get offer clicked tagged so that means at the end of the day i can go and say okay i want to send a specific email to the people that click on the offer but for any reason they didn't go ahead and purchase the product so i want to actually kind of re-engage with them and retarget them and see if there's anything that i can do to help them make a decision maybe that product wasn't good for them maybe i have something else that might be interesting for them so there are a lot of things that you can do all right uh i hope you enjoyed this one uh there's going to be another episode coming up soon for how you can actually create a funnel for this specific offer so make sure that you subscribe and tune in and turn on your notifications so once i put that new video you will get notified once again i'm creating a membership section in my youtube channel so if you're interested about these type of videos i'm gonna do a whole section of courses on the membership just for the members that I go into much more details about how to do this properly, a lot of tips and tricks and everything. So make sure that you check that out. And once again, please do make sure that you like this video, share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.